Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes designed for creative people to learn new skills, explore your passions, and to get inspired. The classes are designed for real life so you can expand the skills you're looking for to get stuck into your dream projects, express your ideas, and connect with a broad creative community. I get a bunch of emails asking how I make the motion graphics in my videos and I do them using After Effects. And if you want to know your way around making sharp animated graphics too, I'd recommend Jake Bartlett's Animating With Ease in After Effects course that runs you from the basics to fiddling with motion graphs to get everything exactly as you'd like it. To get access to courses like this and more with no ads, it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. But the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description get a two month free trial of the premium membership. That's two months of access to any and every course you'd want to use. So click that link and start unlocking your creative potential. The eagle-eyed among you may have noticed that at one point during the race, Lewis Hamilton, defending second place, came together with Alex Albon on a charge for a potential win. Ultimately, Albon ended up worst off, binning it into the gravel, and Hamilton got given a 5 second penalty, dropping him two places and off the podium. News of Hamilton's penalty was met with mixed reaction from the audience and commentators alike, ranging from, yep, a 5 second penalty is absolutely bang on, Hamilton was at fault. 5 seconds? That's not enough, Hamilton should get in the bin. Looked like it was a racing incident to me, penalty is a bit harsh. And the classic, <laughs> I don't know, maybe a penalty is deserved? I don't know. So let's do it. Let's break down the collision and, well, I'm probably not going to change hearts or minds here, but it's good to explore all sides of an arguably marginal incident so you can decide for yourself. It all went down at turn four. A downhill fast right-hander off the back of a long, fast, undulating back straight with DRS zone to boot. We actually see a lot of cars attempting moves here, down the inside and around the outside, both in F1 and the junior categories, as you can get a lovely slingshot through the corner and really dominate the space if you've got the pace, due to the cambering of the track and the long exit of the corner. Now, we were coming off a safety car restart in this instance, so there's no DRS, but Alex Album was markedly faster than Hamilton right through the first half of the lap. This is partly due to the fact that Mercedes cars were in a fragile position, having been warned constantly to stay off the kerbs to avoid vibrations damaging their gearbox, meaning they could not use the full width of the allowed track and thus were taking slower, more constricted lines. But also, Album was on fresh soft tyres, two compounds softer than the old set of hards on Hamilton's car. His tyres were faster, newer and quicker to switch on after the restart. Not only is the softer rubber faster, but its very softness means it gets up to optimum temperature quicker than the hard rubber. There were just 10 laps left, and Albon on the superior rubber, and with less concern for reliability, was in easy reach of both Hamilton and Bottas. The win was definitely on the cards for Albon in the closing stage of the race, and he knew it. Albon got the run on Hamilton in the slipstream down to turn 4. They ran side by side into the braking zone, with Albon on the outside as they turn in. They turn into the corner together, but Albon has so much more grip than Hamilton and is able to power around the outside with ease. To be honest, he made it look like nothing. It looked like job done. But on the outside of the corner, with the move basically completed, Hamilton appears to drift wide into the right rear side of Albon's car, tipping the Red Bull into a spin through the gravel trap. Albon drops to the back of the field. Okay, so rewinding a bit. Obviously, the main point of concern is here, where Hamilton punts Albon. Albon is ahead by a significant amount of car, and Lewis drives into him. That's the fairly open and shut part about it, and the main reason I wouldn't argue against the penalty. My stance overall is somewhat ambivalent. I don't think I would be up in arms if Hamilton did get a penalty, or if he didn't. I think it sits on that debatable margin between you effed up and racing incident that F1 fans relish. And here's why. Yes, this was Alex's corner. He dominated turn four, drove right around Hamilton like he was barely there. Hamilton probably knew the place was gone and should have seeded. But let's wind back a bit. Right through the braking zone, and at the point of turning, Albon is behind Hamilton. Just by a little bit, and he's basically alongside, but he doesn't actually get his car ahead by the time the two cars turn into the corner. It's through the corner that Albon gains the position. Now, while Hamilton obviously needs to be keeping an eye on things and leaving room, at some point he does have to put most of his attention into turning into the corner. He picks his speed, turning in point and line, and goes for the corner. 
At this point, he's kind of committed to his line and speed, which somewhat naively ends with him drawing wide across the track on exit. In general, the move around the outside hasn't worked very effectively this weekend, so he's doing what everyone else has been doing, defending from the inside, traction his way out of turn four, and give the other car nowhere to go. Except Albon is a lot faster than he gives him credit for. Halfway through the turn, and he's already passed. Hamilton, to his credit, holds a consistent line, pulling no surprises. His steering is steady, he doesn't deliberately loosen the turn in to take the car wider. But he doesn't really slow down either and cede the position, which I guess you wouldn't really expect either. Drivers don't want to admit defeat until it's definitely over, and judging precisely when a corner is lost can be a fine art. Unfortunately, in this case, he runs out of space and catches Albon on the outside. Hamilton probably should have pulled back on the speed a little earlier, but the margins are tight and perhaps he's hoping to stay alongside Albon, keep the momentum and carry the battle through the next corner, so other cars have managed to do this weekend. But his misjudgment really cost Albon badly, though Alex would have likely retired a few laps later anyway. So you can sort of see why you can be caught between, yes, Hamilton made a mistake and, ugh, it's all part of racing, this can happen. And don't forget, this whole thing happened in about three seconds, and it was a lot more marginal than, say, Vettel's over-enthusiastic dive bomb on Sainz earlier in the race. Turn 4 is fast becoming a bit of a spot for shady antics for Lewis, as it's the exact place that caused his grid penalty one day earlier. Running behind Bottas on the track as the cars went for their final Q3 runs, Bottas ran wide and off the circuit, prompting a yellow flag. Hamilton still managed to go faster, ignoring the yellow flag on the exit of Turn 4, which he suggested was a bit obscured by dust from Bottas' off. Though let's be honest, the dust from another car careening through the gravel might be the first clue to take a bit of caution. All in all, a bit of an unusually messy weekend from the incumbent champion, but he does get a chance to make amends at the exact same circuit this coming weekend. It might do him well to make sure he takes Turn 4 with due care and attention this time.